Welcome to Francis Marion University. FMU was named after General Francis Marion, a hero of the American Revolution more than 230 years ago. FMU is proud of that connection to the founding of our country. In fact, it's why our nickname is the Patriots. Though he passed away more than two centuries ago, General Francis Marion has continued to hold a prominent place in U.S. history and military service. He's often considered as a founder of the U.S. Special Forces, and two U.S. naval ships were named after him, the sloop of war USS Marion in 1839 and the Paul Revere class attack ship USS Francis Marion. Insignia and artifacts from both vessels are on display in the University's administration building, not far from the office of current FMU president, Dr. Fred Carter, who, as a young Marine lieutenant, was stationed on the Francis Marion. The history of our university itself, however, does not go back quite that far. We were founded in 1970 as a new regional university serving the people of South Carolina. That's not very old as colleges and universities go, but there's still plenty of history and tradition here all the same. Here's a little of the local knowledge that will make you feel even more like a part of the Patriot family. Homecoming is FMU's biggest celebration. On a designated weekend in February, the entire FMU community gathers on campus for fellowship, food, a sampling of Patriot athletic prowess, and the crowning of the homecoming king and queen. A variety of activities take place in the days leading up to homecoming. Favorites include the homecoming parade, the bonfire rally, and the FMU step show, which is one of the largest in the state. It's a great time, and the celebration's getting bigger every year as the FMU community grows. Francis Marion University has produced five national champions in three different sports. We're proud of all of our athletes, but when the Patriots win it all, it's tradition for the entire FMU community to turn out to celebrate when they return to campus. There's no telling which sport will win the next title, but when they do, here's hoping they fly in on a regular school day. Maybe the president will call off class so the party can begin. Speaking of athletics, FMU's Griffin Athletic Complex, which opened in 2012, is a state-of-the-art venue for baseball, softball, and soccer. It was christened with a baseball game against the two-time defending national champions from the University of South Carolina. FMU won that game 5-4. to four. Not quite a national championship, but we still celebrate it all the same. What's one of the most popular newer events here at FMU that's taken on quite a life of its own? That would be the President's Bowl. If you answered that correctly, you can move on to the bonus round. The President's Bowl is an academic quiz bowl competition between student groups that takes place each winter. Groups of all kinds from across campus compete to win a trophy and a cash prize. Each spring, student groups on campus become boat builders and seafarers for the annual Cardboard Regatta. Their fleet of creative boats made of nothing but cardboard, duct tape, and a dash of hope zip across Lake Durant on their way to glory. Okay, so some of them don't exactly zip, but everyone has a good time, and the groups that actually make it across head home with not only bragging rights, but also a trophy or two. A giant once stalked the FMU campus. He was big and green and was intended to be a likeness of Francis Marion. Many students, though, thought he looked a little like someone else. Green giant. Canned vegetables were regularly placed in his outstretched hand, and then one day he was gone, stuck in a corner of FMU's warehouse, melted down into bronze bars, dumped in the PD River. Only the university president knows for sure, and he's not telling. Speaking of legends, legend has it that a conversation held at the back of the stage in FMU's Performing Arts Center can be heard nearly 200 feet away in the very back row of the upper balcony. Actually, it's not a legend or a rumor, it's true. The FMU pack in downtown Florence is a state-of-the-art facility with acoustics rated among the top four in the entire country. The sounds of laughter and cheer can be heard a lot closer to campus each December when FMU's faculty and staff gather at the Wallace House, the president's official residence, to celebrate the end of the semester and the coming of the holiday season. It's a joyous affair that almost every employee attends. And yes, the entire FMU staff can fit in the president's house. Well, after workers connect four tents to the back porch. Parking is an important part of life at FMU, and many upperclassmen see their collection of annual parking stickers as a badge of honor, especially if each year's new decal is added in just the right way. You see, in just a few years, you go from a single Patriot soldier to a whole squad. And we make it pretty easy for you to build up your group by offering the most economical campus parking fee in the entire state. We do have a lot of fun and friendly competition here at FMU, but academics are also very challenging, and students are always 
always looking for a little extra help when exam time rolls around. Some look to Dr. Doug Smith, FMU's first president. Tapping the shoe on the statue of Dr. Smith outside of the Stokes administration building is believed to guarantee no less than a B on the next exam you take. It may not exactly bring you luck, but it always helps to pay respect to General Francis Marion by walking around the south side of his statue on Alumni Drive. Why the south side? Simple. The General Marion statue faces north because that's where the British invaded South Carolina. General Marion stands ready to meet them. Now you have a chance to get behind the general every time you cross the circle. FMU's distinctive seal is the official mark of the university. A bronze version of it is even embedded in the carpet inside the Stokes Administration Building lobby. It's there to call attention to our more cherished symbol, but if you're not paying attention, you could step on it. Tradition has it that a student who steps on it will then be suspended. Well, that's what they say anyway. Can't say it's ever really happened, but can't say it hasn't happened either. So just to be on the safe side, you might want to walk around. It. That's just a sample of the legends and traditions that surround Francis Marion University. Every year we're including new events that will only add to the rich story and wonderful history here at FMU. We can't wait to see you here at Francis Marion University.